Hello. In this video, we're going to go over the economic principle of game theory applied to first mover advantage. We have two companies, company one, company two. Both can either comply or defect based on whatever agreement they have, whether that's running ads, not running ads, lowering price, whatever it may be. These are, these are the possible profits within the million, so 30 million, 20 million, 10 million, and each has an opportunity. So the first thing we need to do is find the Nash equilibrium. Now, to find the Nash equilibrium, we need to find the best strategy for each company first. So first, let us, oh, and company one is the first numbers, company two is the second numbers. So let's say company two defects. Company one can either comply or defect. Well, we see that if company two defects, company one has a, a higher profit if they also defect because 20 is greater than 10. Right, so 20 is greater than 10, so they will choose to defect if they defect. Next, we have to see, all right, well, if company two complies instead, what would company one do? Well, comparing those first two numbers for company one, we see that 30 is greater than 20. So we know that company one will also comply if company two chooses to comply. So those are companies one's best strategies based off of what company two will do. Now we must do that as well, applying that to company two and choosing one for company one. So if company one were to comply, company two is the second numbers. We need to see if they would comply or defect. And you can see, well, they would rather comply as well because 30 is greater than 20. Now, if company one were to defect, we see that again, 20 is greater than 10, thus company two will also choose defect. We can clearly see there are two equilibriums based off of the strategy. When there are two Nash equilibriums within a game like this, it is equal to a first mover advantage. That is because whatever company one will choose, company two already has a decision they must choose as well. So whoever chooses first will have the advantage on whether they choose to comply or defect. Again, let me repeat that because that can be a little weird. If company one were to comply and choose first, no matter what, company two's best option is to comply. Now, and they, no matter what, will have to follow in suit with that decision. And if company one were to defect, company two has a, dis they must also defect. So based off of that, company two's decision is going to be completely contingent on what company one does. So company one would have that first mover advantage. Two Nash equilibriums equals first mover advantage. That is a terrible square. Let's try that again. Let's try that again and boom. All right, so that is how we find the solve that game theory that game as well. Um, any questions, please send me an email. If you'd like me to do any sort of other games, I'm more than happy to. Again, just send me an email. Hope everyone has a great day.